Well, hi everyone. My name is Sanan Hamza. Uh, most of you may know me. I have participated in many events with KRM and some other places. Uh, I, uh, I came from Middle East and uh, it's been like almost three years I'm in the United States. And I play drum, I, I play percussion, and this is my drum. So I also play two another instrument, which is uh, there like my death. It's not like familiar to you guys. One of them we call Saz, which is Kurdish and Turkish instrument. The other one is Jambush. It's similar to banjo here, but the hand is different. But my specialty is actually is death, from death. I have started to playing death in around 2005. I kind of impressed to play that because <coughs> some some of my you know friends were you know playing that and that is I can say it used to be religion also musical like you know both sides like both people can play that and listen to that and that actually uh, that is really really unique instrument in percussion because that is especially in Kurdistan the place that I'm you know from. It's, uh, we play deaf, it's been like almost 2,000 years. And deaf being played in Kurdistan before Islam religion. Then when Islam came, they like part of Arabic people, they like deaf, they play deaf. But deaf has been changed over time. Like, you know, a lot of changes has been made to deaf, uh, to its shape. Deaf at the time, like at 1,500 years or 600 years, used to be smaller circle shape and uh, they didn't have these rings inside so it was just circle with the skin so that time they they uh, created that with a deer skin or lamb skin and until maybe 1990s it was still common and still in some areas but the problem with that whenever you want to play if it's cold weather you have to have us to warm it up then you can play otherwise it doesn't have any noise then at 2000s until now, they created this dub, which is the skin is like x-rays, you know, plastic things, uh, which is not the same thing, but you know, kind of similar material. But right now, like maybe two years ago from now, they were trying to develop a new dub, which is originated from Iran. And this year is actually like, it, it came to the shop and a lot of people bought it. I'm, you know, looking forward to buy one, which the new one, like in 2000 year, the last, the latest edition is has some screws you can like tune it like other instrument because the one that I have right now now you can play as much as you want but if you don't play like academic way if you don't do it like properly it will last maybe about five months six months then when you play it you just hear like just you know bass nothing else because the way we play it if you play it like properly it will last like five years sometimes ten years but the new death that I'm talking about, maybe if you like use it properly and it has strings, when it's like loosened down, you can tie it up again. So this is about its shape. And death has been used for like a happy ceremony and also sad ceremony, like funeral, or when like at the time, like a thousand years ago, when there was a war between nations, when they were they had a victory or, or when, they, when they did not win the war they you know they did the ceremony with the deaf and in islam religion and in middle east especially in saudi arabia and sham now they call syria and israel they used to play deaf it was very popular but their shape was different from the one that i have but in kurdistan the, especially the place right now the kurdistan the part that in iran that's what it's like kind of source of death. And now they create a lot of deaths in Kurdistan, in Iran. So it's, death is very popular now because in 2000s, there was a group called Kamga, Bejan Kamgar, which they kind of introduced the death to Iranian people, to Turkish people, and to the world. So from then, most of the, I can say like 90 or 95% of Iranian music, you can hear that with the music. So it become popular right now. And now it's coming to Kurdistan, like to Kurdistan from Kurdistan region in Iraq and in Iran, also some in Turkey. But when you go to different places, that will change. Like in Turkey, they have the same thing, the same depth, but the way they play, 
they play different and we play different in Iran they play different we the hold and the name will be changed so I'm gonna de demonstrate some for you just showing you how we play how Iranian people play how Turkish play so we as a Kurdish people when we talk, when we call it that that's when we grab that so here inside you have you know it's place to grab it so then when you grab it you have to you have to like first time when you play that you should be able to balance the depth so when you watch right now it seems easy but if you try it you can balance it and play it you can balance it, but when you play it it's not balancing that's kind of unique things about depth and that's where we grab it and we play it like a small demonstration with that would be where we play and we play it in most of our songs the tradition one the old one the new ones but when you go to Turkey they play the same they the same thing but they don't grab it like that they don't even know that play like that the way they play it, they use like this and they call it bander so there if you tell them that they don't even know what's that they play it like this under the same thing which is maybe a little bit thicker and they play it like this and also Iranian Iranian music is there's a lot of difference between Iranian music and Turkish and Kurdish and in Arabic so we like Turkish <coughs> Iran, Iranian and Kurdish we have very similar stuff together but when you go to the like the same area in Middle East when you go to Arabic style it change like totally it's like we but in Iran, also Iran with Turkish, they have different styles. So this rhythm I'm gonna play called uh, Geryan. Geryan, which is uh, suitable for some Kurdish songs and some Iranian songs. Kurdish people in Kurdistan, northern Iraq, we, we have a samba, we play it in this style, in Bandar, which is like that. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.